In the biggest news, starting right tackle Marshall Newhouse is officially out with a foot injury after not practicing all week. He has been playing well and will be replaced by Vidal Alexander. They were in a battle in training camp and Newhouse has proven to be the better player. Alexander didn't play well in his one series and it will not get any easier. He will have to block all pro Justin Houston and he better have tons of help. If he doesn't play well, Houston can wreck the game by himself. In more concerning news, Gerion Conley is out again with the shin injury. He's only played in two games and this shin injury has been around since June. It is lingering far too long to just be a nagging injury. Hopefully, it's nothing serious and he's okay long term. For this season though, it might be time to shut him down for the season and find out what's going on. In the last bit of Raiders injury news, the Raiders linebackers are all banged up. All three linebackers of Corey James, Mark Lee, and Nicholas Morrow are questionable with various injuries. James barely played last game and Mark Lee didn't play at all. Morrow was on the field a lot and has been limited in practice all week with an ankle injury. This group isn't very deep to begin with and the injuries are hurting their weakest position. The team had trouble with linebackers and running backs before. I can't imagine what will happen with Kareem Hunt and Travis Kelsey on the field. For the Chiefs, their two starting interior of Mitch Morris and Devon Tardif are out this game. They struggled last week, but Andy Reid's coaching can make up for a lot of holes. The Raiders defensive line has been playing better and must take advantage and penetrate the backfield. Both of these guys were out last week, so hopefully the Raiders can follow the Steelers blueprint on how to shut down the offense. This line is still solid overall, and I'm guessing the Chiefs will be just fine. Also for the Chiefs, third down pass catching back Sharkhandrick West is going to be out with a concussion. Football aside, let's hope he makes a full recovery and it's not hurting him long term. As for this game, West would be the kind of back who would thrive against the Raiders since they don't cover backs very well out of the backfield. It can be good or bad though since Hunt will be on the field more. Kareem Hunt is an absolute playmaker and might not get many breaks even on a short game week. In injury news that won't affect this game, Obi Milimpongu is officially back on the practice field. He's designated to return from IR and would be eligible to play on the Bills game. He has time to get back in shape and hopefully be fully healthy. He could play the hybrid linebacker role that we all imagine and finally have someone able to cover backs or tight ends. Still, it's too early to speculate, but let's just be glad he's back healthy. In a bit of surprising news, Navarro Bowman will play tomorrow. He was signed on Monday by the Raiders and might be on the field starting on Thursday. That is how desperate the Raiders are in the linebacking core. They weren't playing well to begin with and are hurt. Bowman isn't quite the player he once was with the injuries, but he still brings valuable leadership and experience. He's been busy learning the playbook and should at least know enough to be on the field in some capacity. Somehow, Vegas has the Raiders as only a 3 point underdog. Maybe they're thinking of a different Chiefs vs Raiders game. Now, the only saving grace for the Raiders might be the fact that this game is on Thursday night. It's a short week and the games tend to be sloppy. The game plans aren't as in depth and the players aren't fully recovered. That being said, add the Raiders losing by more than 3 points. The Chiefs 21, Raiders 10. The Chiefs are arguably the best team in the NFL right now and the Raiders have shown no sign of being anything explosive.